So today we're going to draw the tangle by headquarters called Droop. I'm going to start with four dots and a border. Maybe I'll make a little curve. It can be a curvy border, straight border, up to you. All right, so I'm going to start with my Micron PN, and I am going to draw a line from one side to the other. It can be straight, it can be curved. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side to form a X shape. Don't worry about the sections all being the same. That's not going to matter. And then I'm going to draw a third line intersecting and a fourth. So that is my start. You can use Micron 01 also if you would prefer. So from here, I'm going to go in and I am going to aura each of these sections. My last one. I already have a pretty cool design going on here. Then I'm going to go in and I'm going to add a thicker line that I have as a curve and I'm going to or that with a single line. I'll do that again. So I'll do a very skinny aura, fill it in. Thicker aura. Work my way around each section. You don't have to line up if you do not want them to. Don't stress about that. leave some space and I'm going to do that again. Maybe you'll do this twice in each section, maybe three times. You decide on the look that you're going through for the amount of space that you have.
then you might wind up going outside of your border. And if that is the case, that's okay. So here I'm going to go out, pretend where the line is, come back in, and aura. Okay, so I think maybe I'll just add a little third one here. It's a little bit of a bigger section that I had left over. So now I'm going to switch to my Micron 01. And you could do solid lines if you wanted to for the next step, but I like to have a little bit of a sparkle. And what I mean by that is a space. So I'm going to start in one section and have a little break in the line and draw these going down. I'm a righty, so I like to start with one side. You could also, another approach to do this is have them curve to follow the original X line that we did. And then I like to turn my tile so I can see exactly where I am working since I'm a righty and do the other side. So I'm going pretty quickly here, but I would normally be taking my time, really getting that Zen flow.
So next time we get ready to start shading, oh, there's lots of different ways you can shade this. So I'll show you one approach. So I'll take my graphite pencil and I am going to add a pencil line along this section as well as one underneath the aura. And very lightly, I'm going to blend this out. I'm gonna continue around like this. Do both sides do along that side as well to make it really look like it's receding more um, <clears throat> so I might do that on the other way around so my hand doesn't smudge it Again, go, go slower than me, take your time. Don't press too hard. You don't wanna scrub your paper, especially with all that dark ink there. The paper's already a little bit compromised. I think I am going to go back in to one last detail and do the other side of each of these sections. I always have my pencil pointing towards the area I'm aiming to shade to keep a cleaner line. Same thing with the tortillon. So there you have it that is how you draw droop and I can go ahead and add my chop to this and I can sign the back of it and I hope you hope you enjoyed this demonstration if you did please go on and hit subscribe to my youtube channel at DIY art with Danielle and please like my Instagram and Facebook page. With much gratitude, thank you.